Hi there. I uh, have another cool old ukulele I wanted to show people. I just got this the other day, on New Year's Eve actually. Um, it's got its original hard shell case. Uh, and inside the case, it's a Gibson Uke 3, um, I guess from around 1930. somewhere in there anyway. Solid mahogany with a dark stain, um, bound ebony fingerboard with fancy inlays, uh, wood marquetry around the sound hole, nice binding. It's in pretty good shape. Um, it has got the original owners, I don't know if you can see that, uh, name, rank, and I'm guessing military service number of some sort uh, stamped there and also in two places inside the case. So I'm hoping that I can research that a little bit and find an approximate date. Um, who knows, I don't know how hard those things are to look up. Uh, or even if it's military, it might be merchant marines or something, who knows. Um, anyway, I have restrung it uh, with Worth Clears, which are still kind of settling in, so hopefully it's more or less in tune. It's a little twangier. I played another one of these in uh, Denver at a music store back in September that had a kilo strings on it and was phenomenal sounding but it looked like it had been played a lot more and some of that might have been the strings too um, this one sounds nice and is very comfortable to play uh, but it's not quite as loud and punchy as that other one like I said, I don't know how much of that's the strings and how much of it's the fact that the other one had been played so much that it had a lot of bare, bare wood worn into it. This has just got a little bit. Um, comparing it to a similar vintage Martin Style 3, which has got Worth Browns on it, uh, the Martin's louder. fuller sounding I think. Um, again, I don't know how much that's the string. This is the first time I've ever put Worth Browns on anything. They're a little browner sounding to uh, be silly about it. Um, darker, warmer sounding. Um, anyway, the Gibson has a an interesting neck feel to it. It's uh, I haven't actually measured anything, but the neck feels a little shallower uh, than the Martin. It may not actually be. Um, it's hard to say. I don't have any way of doing really accurate measurements of things like that. Uh, they have the same exact tuners. The Gibson headstock's a little thicker and chunkier looking. Um, they're more different than I would have expected them to be. Uh, I don't know why. I would have. That doesn't make a lot of sense, I guess. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, a little bit of Martin with the Browns. Gibson with the clears.
Both pretty rare, I think. Uh, I don't know anything like the exact numbers, but uh, I'm guessing Gibson made a hell of a lot fewer ukuleles than Martin did. So, I've sure seen a lot fewer of them. Um, oh, one thing condition-wise, really the only problem this has condition-wise is that a chunk of the bridge is broken off, but there's plenty of slot there to hold the knot in the string. Uh, I can't see any cracks or really even very many dings. It's got some little scratches in it, but it is 80 years old. Uh, so that's not unexpected, I guess. Um, I'll uh, hopefully before long make an actual thing where I, a video where I actually play some music on it instead of just putzing around with it. But, thanks.